In just over a week, Canadians from coast to coast will engage in a discussion about mental health issues. February 12th, a week tomorrow, is Bell Let's Talk Day. It's a national initiative intended to start a conversation and to raise awareness about mental health. 20% of Canadians live with a mental illness, and for many of them, stigma causes more suffering than the illness itself. All this week on CTV News, Louise Hartland shows us how Vancouver Islanders are working together to change that. Take a look around. One in five of us is dealing with an invisible illness. And many of us uh, have psychological issues, mental health problems that are undiagnosed or unrecognized. And most of those people, uh, because of stigma, uh, very often don't go and seek the help that they could. Dr. Rivian Weinerman is on the front lines of mental health care, breaking down invisible barriers. Stigma is a, is a really powerful force and there's really, as I see it, three different types of stigma. There is self-stigma, people believing their mental illness is something to be ashamed of. Social stigma is the fear of becoming an outcast because of a mental illness. And there is even stigma in the healthcare system. Dr. Weinerman says medical professionals can be part of the problem if they lack understanding about how to treat mental health issues. Along with her team of psychiatrists and therapists, Dr. Weinerman is trying to change that. So we developed a manual, it's called the CBIS manual, Cognitive Behavioral Interpersonal Skills Manual that addressed uh, these issues to enhance the capacity of family doctors to assess, diagnose and treat with not only pills but skills and to fully engage the patient. The CBIS model has been picked up by the province and the BC Medical Association. We have now trained over 1,400 of the province's 3,300 family physicians with phenomenal results in increasing comfort and confidence in the in approaching and treating mental health illnesses. The results speak for themselves. Doctors who are using the manual's methods are prescribing fewer pills. Antidepressant use in their patients dropped nearly 40% in just six months. The Vancouver Island Health Authority put 7% of its budget into mental health and addiction services. But Dr. Weinerman says that's not enough to treat an illness that affects 20% of the population. We find that mental health in our, in our province, in our country, is uh, really underfunded compared to other medical specialties. Getting more government funding is a priority for the doctor, but she says increasing treatment options have no value if people don't seek them out. That's why removing stigma is vital. Louise Hartland, CTV News, Victoria. Tomorrow on CTV News, Louise introduces us to a kindergarten class at a local elementary school that is taking a proactive approach to mental health care.